Alright guys, back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to hop into the new Android Saga story event. Uh, that is actually now live over here on GP Dokkan. Uh, there's a few stages here, not a lot of new stuff, but there is a couple of new things. Uh, so we have this new Goku uh, that we could grind up from the event. Uh, he does awaken into a TUR, and he is a counter-attacking unit, so he is solid. Uh, this old... Uh, Android 18 from the Baba Shop uh, now awakens into a very, very good Android category support type unit. Uh, I absolutely will be awakening her uh, after the World Tournament. Once I have enough orbs to rainbow another SCR unit, she is at the top of my list. Very important because that Android 18 is very good. Uh, and then the last thing is there also is a new training item, actually, uh, that we can get from this third stage, a powered up uh, like, uh, like gravity chamber. So that's good. That's a big, big deal. Um, and then the last thing is, uh, Android category units, of course, increase drop rates. Now I have not even jumped into this event yet. So let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, I believe it lasts up until, uh, like right around when, uh, Android 18 and 17, like beat down Vegeta, Trunks, Tien and them. Like, right where 18 uh, kisses Krillin. I believe that's about where it ends. Uh, now, this is good, right? Because uh, Dokkan is continuing to pump out the story events. Uh, you know, there's only now, like, a few story sagas in Dragon Ball Z that have not been covered. Uh, and then, you know, only a few movies left as well. So, I, I mean, you know, now that Dokkan is really starting to hammer through these, I guess we could say, hopefully... Uh, Dragon Ball Super will continue at some point soon because, you know, there's only so many, like, you know, oh, pink shirt Vegeta, there he is. I, I still, I don't like that these two are, like, exclusive to JP and Global because, like, th this, this is the only iteration of these two characters. Pink shirt Vegeta and then, like, you know, that version of Yamcha only show up in this part of the series right here. So, like, I don't like that, like, Global cannot have, like, a pink shirt Vegeta, right? It's stupid. Like, I, I think, at the very, honestly, I think pink shirt Vegeta kind of should be, like, they gotta make him, like, a summonable card. There has to be some sort of summonable version uh, of pink shirt Vegeta. That, that's what I think they need to do. Uh, what, you know, because Global, like, it's dumb that Global can't have pink shirt Vegeta, man. And then, like, that Yamcha, like, you know, I, I would like to get a, a card of that Yamcha. You know, I want, like, all the versions of these characters to be represented in the game. I mean, while we're talking about that, too, uh, we could talk about, you know, Mecha Frieza and King Cold. There's that LR Trunks art that looks really good. But, like, Mecha Frieza and King Cold don't really have representation in Dokkan very much. I mean, now they finally just got their LR, which, you know, it, it is interesting how it, it seems like now Dokkan's kind of moving, like, in order, right? Like, okay, let's go ahead and knock out, you know, a lot of the Android Saga stuff. Let's knock out a lot of the Planet Namek Saga stuff. There are still a few units. This is pretty, this is not bad, okay. There are, so, yep, that's the exact pose. There's that Trunks, boy. But, uh... There's still a few units I want Dokkan to bring in from the Namek Saga, you know, like, in particular, Vegeta. Uh, I think a, a better third-form Frieza probably wouldn't be a bad idea, especially since we have a really good second-form Frieza now, right? Like, there, there's things that they could still improve there, but for the most part, they've gotten a lot of the key things done, right? We have a really good Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, like, we have some really good Frieza cards. You know, we have that LR full-power Frieza and stuff like that. So all of that is really nice. Um, and now we're moving on to the Android Saga, right? Now, the Android Saga is, like, criminally underrepresented in Dokkan. Like, if you actually go through it, in reality, the future Androids, like, I feel like should be better. Like, the LR Androids, like, who we just saw right there, like, uh, you know, ooh, oh, that, yeah, that, th so they just used the LR art right there. That, that was perfect. That was actually, <laughs> that was really good. That works pretty well. Uh, but, like, you know, I, I would like a better version of the androids there. You know, there is basically, like, no good Android 16 from the Cell and Android Saga. You know, like, all the different Z Fighters, like, that Gohan, Gohan's appearance in the Android Saga uh, is not actually in Dokkan at all. Like, uh, the outfit that Gohan wears before going into the Time Chamber, there's not a single card of that Gohan in Dokkan, right? Like, he, he wears a similar outfit, uh, you know, at the beginning of the Saiyan Saga and stuff like that, but it, it's not the same thing. So, I, I do want that Gohan to be added. Oh! Hold up, Bulma. Woo! 
Bulma looking good. <laughs> yeah, and then here's where uh, Goku shows up, right? You know, here's where we find out about the androids uh, and all that stuff right here. Uh, but, like, uh, see, like, yeah, Armor Gohan, Armor Krillin, their units have to be represented. Again, like, I feel like they could give us uh, an Armor Gohan from right here as well. Like, this, this Armor Gohan... I don't know, maybe he could be an Android Saga category support type unit or something like that. And then, like, you know, Armor Gohan from Planet Namek, he could be, like, Planet Namek category support. You know, some stuff like that. I think that would work well. Uh, you know, we finally did get a Yardrak Goku that was obtainable. There was that one Yardrak Goku in the Trunk Super Strike event, but you could never get him, right? So, not really a big deal. But this one, you can actually obtain. What You know, that's a good thing. Uh, obviously, LR Mecha Freeza and King Cold have shown up. Uh, I feel like, uh, see, I don't know if they could do, I don't think they could do, like, a Dokkan Fest exclusive for, like, Android 17 and 18, but, like, again, th there's definitely some things they could do to sort of improve these early Android Saga characters. Like, you know, Android 19 and 20, I do think, deserve, at the very least, really good TUR cards. I don't think it's too much to ask for for them to get really good TUR cards, because right now, Androids 19 and 20, like, just they just have SRs and rares. Like, that's that's it. That, that that's the the extent of their representation in Dokkan right now. Like I do kind of think like an LR 19 and 20 would work well, maybe as like a friend summon uh, LR, uh, and then also give us like TURs of the two of them. Like I I also think too, uh, what Dokkan should do is they should have uh, the Cell and Android Saga should be the same, right? The artificial uh, life form Saga or whatever. Like that it, that's what it should be. Combine the Android and Cell Sagas. Make sure that those are not split up. I think that would be a huge mistake, right? Because then, like, you know, like, uh, okay, so the reason that would be an issue is LR Trunks, physical LR Trunks. If they split up the Android and Cell Sagas, then physical LR Trunks would not be on that team. And obviously, like, you know, so we're all assuming, right, that the leader of the Cell Saga category is probably going to be Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who's on screen right there, right? I mean, that's, that's got to be, like, uh, him as a new hybrid Saiyan leader and a Cell Saga category support unit, I, I think that is a huge W for Dokkan. I think Dokkan gets number one in the App Store. People go crazy. I mean, you know, Gohan, Super Saiyan 1 is what the Dokkan Festival exclusive card is going to be. Transformation mechanic, Super Saiyan 2. Then he does the active skill, Father, Son, Kamehameha. Bro, I... Dokkan would print money from like it's definitely come here's the thing it's coming the it's coming for sure like that, that that's I, I would say a lot of people are saying that there's a they, they think there, there's so that's where we get the Goku by the way but they think there's a good chance uh that it could be for the 300 million download uh celebration so maybe like a, a Gohan and then a cell dual Dokkan festival now, I, I mean, does Cell really need a third Dokkan Fest exclusive? Uh, sure. I, honestly, fine. Like, if they wanted to do it, whatever. You know, I, I guess we could have a transforming Cell. I don't know, like, you know, if he would be, like, Cell perfect form that would transform into perfect. Or maybe a Cell that would transform through all of his different forms. Like, you know, the transforming Goku and Vegeta and Frieza cards. Could be like that. Uh, this is also one of the worst scenes in Dragon Ball, by the way, where Bulma's like, hey, why don't we just roll up on Dr. Garrow and, like, take him out right now? And they're like, nah, 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 nah. Well, we can't do that. <laughs> what? No, no, no. We, we got to fight him. We got to fight him. Like, <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Like, hey, it, it, when go when Goku blows up on King Kai's planet, yeah, geez, sure wish, uh, <laughs> sure wish we would have went and taken down Doctor Gero now. Uh, all right, so here's a little little training section. Uh, this should be where we get the uh, new gravity chamber, by the way, because you know this is the the three years of training like sort of thing that takes place. You know, this is where Vegeta basically learns to become a Super Saiyan. Uh, clearly, uh, Goku and Piccolo get a lot stronger. I mean, I guess it's, it's never really clear, um, like, how close Goku is, like, in relation to Vegeta at this point. Because the Goku who fights the Android 19 is obviously severely weakened, uh, by the heart virus. So we don't know for sure, like, how much he compares to Vegeta. Now, Piccolo does say, uh, pretty much along the lines of he thinks Vegeta is stronger. But, you know, always hard to tell. Um, uh, I... 
It is interesting how Goku gets taken out of basically almost the entirety of the Android and Cell saga, like right at the start there, but it, it does lead to all the shenanigans with Cell and stuff like that. Um, Alright, so I wonder what the drop rate is going to be for this new gravity chamber. What I'm probably going to do is the remainder of time that... Okay, so there we got one. Alright. Uh, the remainder of time that uh, this story event is up, I'm probably going to use my boosts every day to farm up that uh, gravity chamber. Because I feel like that's probably uh, the, the best way to use it right now. Because, you know, the gravity chambers, I mean, you guys, you know, grinding Dokkan and stuff like that, training characters and stuff, know that there is no better training item than those gravity chambers, man. They are the best. So now to have a new one of those, it just will completely save all of our items. Uh, so that TN is sort of pretty much in the game, right? You know, that's basically the TN uh, that, like, fights second form Cell, so he's here. Uh, we definitely could use a better... Like, they gotta, they gotta figure out a way. Like, just give him a name change or something. But Piccolo, like, from his fight with Android 17... I, I honestly, I would totally be cool with him as a Dokkan Fest exclusive. Like, you know, maybe he could be transformation mechanic into, you know, Piccolo Fuse with Kami. I, I think that would be really, really cool. I do think that would work as a Dokkan Festival exclusive. The only thing is, like, you know, I, I would like to see the Namekian category increase, but, like, there's definitely some things I would have to do. I mean, a Dokkan Fest exclusive Piccolo certainly would be good. And, you know, maybe he could give, like, 200% stats to Namekian. And then, like, a hundred and, I don't know, 70% to, like, full power or something like that? I, I don't know. Uh, what what could, what could Piccolo be? Like, it, it, I, it would have to be something, like, full power, like, vague like that, right? Because Piccolo units aren't... Like, like Piccolo is just so shafted in Dokkan, dude. Like, Piccolo's... These Piccolos just don't have a lot of categories, like, at all. Like, pretty much. Like, they don't... A lot of them don't really have anything. Like, I guess... Piccolo could maybe be a, a transformation boost leader, but, like, you know, we kind of want a, a Saiyan transformation boost leader. That That's what would be the best. Uh, I, that art, that iconic shot of Goku right there, by the way. But, like, like we want, like, a prepare for battle, shocking speed over in a flash, you know, like, Saiyan leader for that transformation boost team. I mean, well, okay. If they, if they released, like, some sort of Saiyan that had all three, like, I don't know, like a, a transforming Goku that goes into Kaioken as, like, a transformation boost leader or something like that, that would be, like, the maybe the best team in the game. Because if you had leader units that could completely kind of be a bridge like that with all three of those links, then that team becomes a crazy, crazy team. Uh, here, of course, this is a fight against Android 19. You know, Goku basically tires out. Uh, this is, of course, the Gohan I was talking about that's not in the game is the one from right here. Ooh, that art. Yeah, that T-U-R art of the LR Vegeta looks really good. So, yeah, as they've done some LRs recently, they've gotten some, uh, you know, art of some of these iconic scenes. Man, I, I think a Cell Saga category really would work incredibly well, like, the more I think about it. But again, there, there's just a lot of holes that still have to be fit in, because... For the longest time, you know, they put all all the stuff they put in at the start of Dokkan is pretty much all, like, worthless at this point. You know, uh, Easy A's have saved, you know, a lot of those old units that have gotten Easy A's. But outside of that, like, a lot of the older units and stuff like that, you know, aren't really that big a deal. You know, they, and, and then, like, comparing an older unit to a new one nowadays where the new ones have, like, the really awesome animations, you know, mid-battle transformations, active skills, all of those things. And you just compare it to the old units that have none of it. And it's like, you know, we just want, like, updated versions of, like, all these new characters and stuff like that, right? That's just, like, very, very important. So, like, I, I, I like, uh, all the Z Fighters have to be better represented. I still think, like, a, a Z Fighters category is also a really, really good idea. It's just like, hmm, I mean, that, that would be an interesting one because you have to make some sort of distinction for the Super Saiyans, right? Like... I, you know, who, like, are, are Goten and Trunks going to be in it? I'm talking about, you know, the kid versions. Like, I, I think adult Trunks from the Android Saga, certain, like, Android and Cell Saga should certainly be in there. But, like, at, at a certain point, like, you know, you can't just... It, it would just be, like, you know, Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta as a rotation, you know, stuff like that, right? So, like, 
I imagine a lot of the higher tiers of Super Saiyan characters would not be in, but a lot of like the, you know, the Gokus from early Dragon Ball Z could get in. You know, that that's just such a good way to that for them to, you know, give another place for units like Krillin uh, and Piccolo to be used. Because again, wow, we're using this art of Vegeta, huh? <laughs> All right, okay. We're using the OG, like that's, you know, the, one of the worst possible units you can pull nowadays, that Vegeta. But hey, eventually they're probably going to give him an easy A, right? Because like we see the way they've been giving out easy A's like crazy now. There's this whole batch of units that's going to get an easy A. So like at any point, like any old unit could become really good. Like all you need is one easy A, bam, and they become like very, very solid. So you know, I, I guess I would like to see a lot of, you know, if we're going to do another kind of random units EZA, which it looks like we're going to get with, like, you know, the Goku from the Cooler movie and Metal Cooler, you know, Android 13s and all of them. I would like to see the EZA support some of the, maybe the weaker category teams. I think that's a, a good way to go about it. Also, so we have, like, all this Android Saga stuff now kind of starting to take prevalence, right? That's another reason people are thinking that uh, that Super Saiyan 2 transforming Gohan could be coming. Uh, again, I, you know, I, I think there's a, a really good chance that Gohan, like, it, it is going to be such a big deal when he drops, so, so I, I, I almost, like, I don't think it's going to be like a, it's not, I don't think he'll be like a random unit they'll just toss out, right? That Gohan feels like it would be way too hype. That would need, like, I, I feel like, that Gohan, he would have been great for, like, the Tanabata celebration, right? I think that would have been, like, a really good spot for him. Uh, I think the 300 million download celebration, honestly, is a good spot for him. I think New Year's, traditionally, uh, Dokkan has really big units for New Year's. I think uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, again, is is a very good candidate uh, for that. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what they decide to do. Uh, but, you know, with all these Android Taga stuff coming... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do because i've said before that a, a lot of my favorite categories uh in the game are sort of the saga categories because like you know it, it's a way to kind of build like different sort of unique teams i feel like they kind of messed up the boo arc one a little bit because I, I feel like a lot of those movie characters actually probably should not be in there i mean it certainly makes the boot seem a lot better that you know units like lr gohan and goten and you know the easy a goten uh uh, like they're in that boo arc team but like I, I still feel like they probably shouldn't right like i, I feel like you know because <laughs> like they didn't they didn't do the family kamehameha in the boo arc right so like i, I think it, it would have been better off if they were left out but a lot of those oh this is like a this is a new background i haven't seen this one before okay 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 not bad not bad finally we got we, we got some new stuff going on uh, this Android 18, I mean, they gave us the, the Android, you know, 18, like, category support type unit. I do kind of feel like we, you know, we, we need, like, a new version. Really, the three of them together, they probably could be an LR, huh? I, I, I feel like that would work incredibly well. Like, uh, an Android 16, 17, and 18 LR. Um, the only thing is, well, actually, no, that, that would be really good because... Number one, that would enhance the Cell and Android Saga categories, which, you know, certainly would need it, right? Because for, for the longest time, I've said this uh, thousands of times, but Dokkan was very hesitant to make super good cards before basically Super Saiyan 2 Gohan vs. Cell. Like, at one point, like, 99% of the good cards in the game came after Super Saiyan 2 Gohan vs. Cell, basically, right? So, like, all that pre-stuff we still could use good versions of. Um... So, 16, 17, 18, they certainly would be good for, like, a seller Android category. They would be good for the Android category team, which I do think could use a buff. So, I don't know if they would make that, like, a summonable LR, but yeah, I, I would like to see that be, like, a really, really busted LR. I think would work really well uh, for some of these teams. Uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see. There's a lot of stuff they could still do with a lot of these Androids. And then, like... Me, I, I'm certainly expecting Android 13 to drop pretty soon. Uh, one reason is because, I mean, everyone has noticed this by now, but Dokkan and Legends, for whatever reason, uh, they really feel the need to drop similar stuff a lot, right? So, with Legends dropping Android 13 stuff, 
And then with Dokkan, you know, getting ready to EZA the Android 13s, and they're going to make Tech Android 13 easier to obtain, and then the Android Saga Story Event, to me, it seems crystal clear that uh, a Dokkan Fest Android 13 might be coming pretty soon. Because that movie, movie number 7, uh, the An Super 13 movie, has, like, virtually no representation in Dokkan. Uh in terms of, like, the story aspect of it, right? There is no story event for that movie. There's no Dokkan event from that movie. So I, I you know, do think we really could use uh, some stuff from that sort of, like, uh, movie added into the game. Um, and then, that you know, that Android 13, uh, he would be a nice addition to a couple of teams, right? Uh, you know, a, a transforming one certainly would make the transformation boost team even better like, I mean, that team is just going to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Like, it, because transformation units are, are, I think, you know, some of the most fun units in the game. And, like, they really, really, like, had to put all of them on their own category team. Uh, that transforming team? Oh, man. Like, uh, eventually, we're going to get, like, all these different units that transform mid-battle. And, like, like, the combinations are, like, endless of units you could rock, right? Like, as soon as Blue Gogeta and Broly got added to that team, it was like, whoa, dude. Like, we, we're we really looking at... <laughs> we are looking at a wild team now. But, alright, so we're finishing up this story event, uh, Android Saga story event. I feel like a, a lot of times they, they have, like, eight stages in these story events, but they don't put enough, enough stuff in here. Like, why not give us, like, th that Gohan who's not in Dokkan, why not make him, like, a farmable SSR from this and add him to one of those stages, right? Because, like, you know, we get a couple of medals from two of the stages for 18 and Goku. You know, we farm up Goku, we get the new training item, but oftentimes I feel like, you know, like, one farmable unit from these story events is just not enough. They just gotta add a little bit more. I mean, at least they're doing something, right? They are giving us, you know, good free-to-play units, like that Goku is good for a free-to-play unit. This Android 18 right here, she's good uh, as a free-to-play unit as well. Like, she's the best category support type unit for the Android team, and she's free-to-play, so that's good. I guess this art doesn't look too bad. It, it still could look better. Um, I, I don't know. I, I feel like the the Goku and the Android 18 art, like, it, it's weird as in it, it's almost like it's super old, right? That's sort of the indication I got from it is that these must be arts that Dokkan has had done for years, because, like, I, it's weird to me that they just all of a sudden would take this monster step back in terms of the art of the game, right? But, alright, there we go. There is the Android Saga story event. Uh, and then, you know, when I'm talking about that step back in the art, uh, we're talking about stuff like this. Like, that's that doesn't look good. <laughs> that looks like art from the beginning of the game is what that looks like. So that's just very, very bizarre. But, alright guys, we'll finish up here. Android Saga Story Event. Definitely farm up those new training items, by the way. Uh, that is going to be very, very important. Uh, let's go ahead and see this bad boy right here. Definitely get as many of those as you can, because that's definitely going to be the best training item we could possibly have now at this point. So, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.